Lots of new stuff up here. You're gonna see it's gonna pop on Monday. Y'all are getting a uh, inventory peek here. I just decided to go live before we lock up. We're up here washing cars today. We're actually closed for this Corona thing. But we've been up here answering phone calls. I've been doing videos. And next week I've got like 12 new cars to do videos of, so. Just posted this one today. It's an awesome four-speed Corvette. 350. Got some new Camaros. Got a new Mustang. Got another new Camaro down there on the end. Oh, Bernie's over here detailing, hand washing all the cars. because uh, the pollen just laid it down this last week. We wash them about once a week up here. We're, we're gonna have to start washing them every other day, it seems like. I can't wait to do the video on this one. Things gonna be bouncing everywhere. <laughs> hey, the horn works 50% of the time. <laughs> and I've had Jason back here trying to wire some of them up. He just can't figure it out. He'll get them beeping like crazy and then be like, well, I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I was like, well, leave me a wire out or something that I could hit. Hook a switch up to or something. We already sold that Corvette. We're just blocking the gate with it right now. Jeff's out here getting some pictures of all the new cars. So we're just sliding that across the gate to look closed. And Oh, you want to know how much the Camaro is? It's going to be 24 knots, four speed. It's a really nice car. It's going to be a good video. Another one I'm excited about is this one. This thing is sick, guys. Wait till y'all see the interior on this thing. I'll have this one, one of the first ones that I do next week. It's not on bags either. It's just sitting that low. This one's gonna be 28.9. For those of y'all just now joining the page, I'm giving y'all kind of a sneak peek, doing a live update since I haven't in a while of a bunch of new cars that we've gotten up here at Maple Motors this last week. They're not on our website yet, but they will be Monday. If you can be patient, I can show you these videos and give you a sneak peek of what we got. Just gonna kill me. It's gonna be overwhelmed with emails, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know which one's got everything working. We usually sell stuff that's got cosmetic issues. Sometimes a crack in the paint or Maybe the windshield wipers don't work or maybe the horn don't work, but most of our cars are priced accordingly because of that. And that's why we keep them all around 20,000. No, y'all haven't seen this one. This is a new one. 69 Firebird, 21 nine. This one we just got back. Uh, guy does a lot of trading with us. 71 Chevelle. I got the video, I just used the old video of that one because he only had it like a month. This one here's a 68 Chevelle, 26.9. Another Chevelle sitting here, 29.9. A new one we just got in, nobody's seen, 24.9. That one should be a pretty good piece. I already got to 
walk around it because I was detailing them. We're getting bored up here. They have us closed, the city does, so they asked us nicely to please shut your lot down, even though we don't have to. We're just respecting the city, so. Got old Malibu sitting here, convertible, 25 now. Uh, they probably just don't know how to hook them up. We buy the cars from people. And uh, sometimes they'll put a new carburetor on them and just don't know how to set the kick down. We usually take them down to the tranny shop, just let them hook them up if it's our personal ride. Otherwise, they're mainly about two weeks out all the time. So we'd have to wait two weeks on each car we wanted the kick down hooked up. And that's not going to work. Got some more cars back here y'all haven't seen. I think all of them are going on, so might as well show them all to you. Make our way back here. Uh oh, he missed one. Look how dirty these cars get in two days. It's because of this big hill over here. Within two days, it's just covered in pollen, especially the black ones. I was like, man. Really wanted to do the video this morning and they were all covered. So I was like, man, I'm not doing that. My daughter loves that car. She said, pretty blue. I hope everybody on here is doing well. Staying safe, staying inside. I got one little group of people, which is my family. That's all I hang out with right now. All right, there's a mashup back here, and then we got a couple Firebirds. Those, I think all of those under the awning are already sold, which is Camaro, the Galaxy, and the convertible Corvette. These two right here are new. Just got them in. I've never test drove them. I have popped the hood. I have washed them. I haven't got to drive them personally. I like to save that part for the videos. That way I do it in real time. Uh, it just depends on where you're at for shipping, but you can call the shipper on our website and get quotes. Say you're buying from Maple Motors. It'll say transportation on there. You can see we got all the prices on the windshields. These cars are not on our website just yet. Y'all are getting a sneak peek some of the inventory we bought this week um got a 68 268 firebirds one's 14.9 one's 17.9 four-door bel air i called it an impala in the video on accident because it was a 64 12.9 uh most of the classics we get from the south we try not to buy anything from up north because we we try to have a good inspector look at them before we buy them. We don't buy anything with a lot of rust. May have some surface rust here and there. But if the frame's rotted out, we're just we're going to have to pass. They have to run and drive if we buy them. That's a question we get all the time. Everybody's trying to sell us projects. Have to be able to drive them here. That Galaxy on last week. That was a good test drive. Got the Falcon here, four speed. Old T-Tight, wannabe Grand National, 14.9. Uh, we don't find cars for people, we just go out, we get calls and we buy them and send them to the lot. We try to keep everybody updated with everything that we get, just like I'm doing right now. Y'all are getting a early update, none of these new ones are on our website y'all are going to be looking for them they're not on there yet so 
I put them on uh, Jeff's death. So they're looking for some keys. Uh, well, before the Corona thing, we were selling about 40 a month. And right now it's almost half that. I think we're doing about seven a week. Fastest car on the lot right now. It's hard to say, but this one right here, we're actually standing in front of. It's got a built 440. And it felt pretty stout in the video. You put some fat tires on it, it'll, it'll really show some of these cars up out here. Marty from Baltimore. Any of these cars that you see on here, you can watch test drive videos of, watch walk around videos of. We try to point out all the flaws. We're never really here to hide anything, so. I own a Chevelle that's sitting next door. Actually, a lot of our personal cars are all sitting next door. Pops has got a newer bullet Mustang. Jeff has got the Corvette sitting over there. Jason's in a big old truck. Of course, he ain't here today. And then I got a Chevelle. This is a Malibu convertible. I don't know if y'all know, but Chevelles, when you buy them, you can get a Malibu package, trim package. The blue Chevelle, we'll walk, we'll walk across the front row again. How about that? It's 23.9, big block, 454. Twenty four nine on this one. I haven't decoded the motor yet, so but I will get to it. Twenty nine nine on this one, four fifty four. Twenty six nine on this one. It's three ninety six all around it. I I'm pretty sure that was a four fifty four as well. You wanna know what the yellow car is in the middle of the lot? It's a cutlass. Got some old Chevy sitting here. This is a 57 Bel Air. Got another one sitting here, but this is a 56 model. And the guy was asking about this Cutlass. It's a 69 or 68 model, I believe. Almost said 69. I'd have been wrong. 19.9 on that one. 65 Mustang we just got. Nobody knows of. 15.9. It's a pretty car. Old Bernie's cleaning the old Cadillac. Got a Cutlass sitting here. An Impala convertible. That's 27.9. Jeff said, wait till the update. Don't email him until you get all the information. <laughs> 66 Bel Air four door sitting here. It's just 12.9. It's actually a really good looking car. I like the wheels on it. Let me step out and read you a book. <laughs> and the old 62 Impala. Got to be one of my favorite cars right now just for the looks. Rarest car we have ever had. That's a hard one. Uh, yeah, 68 Cutlass is on there. If you want to see any of these cars test drive wise, you can just type in their year, their model, and Maple Motors. So like 68 Cutlass Maple Motors, and you'll get two videos of it. See it going down the road. Hey, Jeff. Pretty sure it's here recently, but what's the rarest car we've ever had? Ever? 
Yeah, ever. Oh. Cameo is probably the rarest one of the lot. Cameo truck's the rarest one on the lot over there. We had one not that long ago that was just out there. It, uh, that's, that's rare, but that's because it's his car. He's got a 55 Chevy convertible. It is kind of rare, but I've seen them floating around town too. They're just really high dollar. He's talking about this one. It is pretty rare. It is actually the only one we've ever had at the lot. And the reason is, look at the bed on it. It's just unique, pretty cool. It's a lot different than what you see rolling down the road. It's not your basic Chevrolet. I just really like this. This thing's cool. It's got a keg in the back. You put gas in it. It's an Anheuser keg. <laughs> They're making sanitizer now. This one's gonna be a good one. You know, if I didn't own my Chevelle, I'd be all over this. I'd have to take them silver stripes off the back because they're cracking. But I would, it's it's cammed up. I haven't decoded the motor yet. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to take it down the road. I was reading some of y'all's messages. My favorite car on the lot is probably that 62 right now. It just looks mean. The interior's all tricked out. I can't wait to show it to you. I'll have that video up first thing next week. A lot of new cars up here. Besides wheels on which Camaro? This one? Look like 20 and 18s. Let's see. Yeah, 18s. I think 20s on the back. Oh man, where'd it go? Yep, it's 20s down there. It's the Riddlers. They look like the Boss 338s or the Torque Thrust. Pretty big on the back there. That Mustang's gonna be a sweet one too. It's really clean in person. What's going on guys out there in Cali? The silver vets 12 knot this one's going to be a great piece i haven't decoded the motor on it yet any of the new stuff i like to take the numbers off the back look them up and kind of break down the car a little bit and then do my videos uh, you can jump on my website for financing just go to maplemotors.com there's three different companies on there lightstream's the newest but honestly they're the fastest what's going on pittsburgh I'm surprised this Camaro hasn't sold. Oh, I love my job. I was, this is all I've ever done. I guess I kind of cut yards for a little while when I was real young. I started cleaning cars instead and then I started making videos. That's gonna be a pretty good one. Drop the top when it gets real hot. You see how the seats have that, uh, the stitching in them with the waves? Somebody custom made a boot. When I lay the top down, it'll go across the back and it'll look just like the seats. It's, it's gonna look awesome. I haven't seen that before. And I found it in the trunk when we were cleaning them up. What are you doing, Bernie? Magic. Small block. Probably a 350. It's covered up with the linkage. Can't read it real quick. Let's go try to read that code for y'all. It's covered up. Have to get the synth code off the front.
Oh, uh, we sold the last Nova. That that Yinko one that we had. That new uh, gold Malibu is gonna be twenty five nine. I was double checking on that. Old split bumper Camaro is twenty four nine. It's a four speed car. Get a good view of the lot up here. I'm surprised we haven't sold this Challenger. That red Chevelle with the black hood, we do have videos of it on here. You can see it going down the road and uh, we have it listed on our website as well for the price. I'll make my way back around over there. That way I could show you in the video too. It's only uh, 19.9, got a big block in it. Yeah, late model aluminum headed 360 and the Challenger right here. And it runs good. I'm just surprised we haven't sold it. The T-Type, it's not a Grand National. It's got Grand National badges on it. It's 14.9. It's got the same motor, turbo. But I can't prove it's a real Grand National. It's red, for one. All right, guys, I tried to give y'all a good update. Figured I'd walk around the lot. If you don't mind, share this video for me. It'll help me out greatly. And uh, I'll get a full walk around of the lot and have it to you Tuesday. Might breeze back through one more time. And like I said, if you're just now joining on the page, you'll be able to see all of our cars on maplemotors.com. We update on Monday. There's a lot of them in this video you won't see on our site. And the reason it is, he's taking pictures of them. He just got done with his last set of pictures. He's putting them all together calling the web guy he comes up here and uploads them to maplemotors.com which gives you close to 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot Didn't really get to show that one yet. He just brought it back. Red interior to match. Uh, the only car I was eyeing up for myself was that Camaro over there. I really do like this one, but I don't need to uh, have two $30,000 cars. That's a little much for me right now. This one right here would be sweet to add to the collection. Mine's sitting right over there, that black Chevelle. I just got it about a month ago. I was actually working on it a little bit today. I changed some plugs, fuel filter. 
Just passing the time after we wash the cars. Uh, yeah, our inventory, we've been up to 75 before, but I think right now we're like 60, 60 cars or so. Well, we have a few scouts out buying cars for us and stuff. Uh, we also have a lot of people trade that have done business with, with us through the years. A lot of repeat business. It's a 38-year business now. So Trying to keep it going. All right, guys. Probably gonna conclude this video. If you ha haven't been on this channel before, hit that subscribe button. Also check out maplemotors.com. We'll have everything up to date Monday afternoon. If you don't see our stories, I put a lot of stuff on there behind the scenes. They're usually about 10, 15 second clips here on YouTube. Also got Snapchat that you can join. I've been posting it, trying to every day. Black Nova's already sold. Now that I showed you the whole lot, somebody said they wanna see some person. I'll show you the Corvette, pops his bullet. Which is pretty rare. They're mainly like suspension kits on that, but I gotta get mine waxed. That's all. Somebody wet sanded some spots on it and didn't wax it back out before I bought it. Pops this car here. It's a real bullet. I'm pretty sure it's like a one owner. These are all personal, so they're not for sale. Jeff just got this vet. I was pretty impressed with. I like how you can just switch the modes and the exhaust sounds. But yeah, I'll keep y'all up to date. Be posting a bunch of videos next week, all these new cars. Like I said, please give us a little time to get all of them on uh, our website. And we'll do what you can to get the cars to you. Yeah, I got a, um, it's a 454, uh, 30 over EFI. Guys, stay safe out there. Still have fun. Don't go crazy sitting at home. And thanks for watching.